you won't want to tell ghost stories around these campfires. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 haunted campgrounds and parks in the U.S. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the camping areas and parks around the United States with the absolute best ghost stories, and that are allegedly haunted. Number 10. Calico Ghost Town Calico, California. It's called a ghost town. What do you expect? Located in San Bernardino County, California, Calico was once a prosperous silver mining town, but by 1907, the area had been completely abandoned. Today, it's been preserved as a recreational county park with overnight camping. But the campground? It's in the old town graveyard. Many people have reported various spooky activities taking place here, including women who felt they were being assaulted in the night by an invisible being. No thanks. For the brave, though, you can also put Callie's Bodhi Ghost Town on your to-do list. Number 9. Eden Park, Cincinnati, Ohio Some regions seem to be inexplicably haunted by a variety of specters, but Eden Park in Cincinnati has its own very specific ghost story. According to legend, in the fall of 1927, a woman named Imogene Remus was en route to a divorce hearing when her husband, a prominent bootlegger named George Remus, chased the car she was riding in into Eden Park, where he proceeded to shoot and kill her. Ever since, visitors to the park have said that they see a woman wearing a black dress, which legend says she was wearing that day, wandering around the grounds, particularly around the gazebo. Number 8. Griffith Park, Los Angeles, California Known for the famous Hollywood sign, you'd probably recognize the Griffith Observatory even if you didn't know the name. But did you know the green space surrounding it is totally haunted? It's said that there's been a curse on the park for many years because the family of the original owner was cheated out of their inheritance. But the more you delve into the history, the more you'll learn about the wide variety of spectral figures who've been spotted here over the years, such as Griffith J. Griffith himself and an actress who committed suicide there. Number 7. Jack London State Historic Park, Glen Ellen, California American novelist Jack London is famous for books like The Call of the Wild, and the state park that bears his name is the ranch he and his family once lived on. And some people maintain they still live there. London and his wife are interred on the grounds, but possibly the spookiest location is Wolf House, London's dream home that burned down before he even had the chance to live in it. What's left of the Grand Mansion sits on the grounds, gathering moss and apparently being haunted by the ghost of the author himself, as well as the specters of some of the characters he created. Number 6. Hunting Island State Park Hunting Island, South Carolina Hunting Island is South Carolina's most visited state park, hosting over a million people each year. The region is beautiful, but what many people don't know is that it's also home to a lighthouse that is most definitely haunted. There are several figures said to haunt the lighthouse. One is a former keeper who blamed himself for the drowning death of a young boy, and the other is the daughter of one of the keepers who killed herself there. Visitors to the nearby campground have also reported hearing loud noises at night and singing in the distance. Number 5. Humboldt Redwood State Park, Weot, California There's something eerie going on at Humboldt Redwood State Park, but no one seems to know what it is. Hikers have said they've seen a large humanoid figure prowling the woods that some think could be Bigfoot. Others cite the fact that the area was once sacred to Native Americans, saying that the former and now ghostly residents returned to haunt it. Up until the mid-1800s, the Cinquion, part of the Eel River Athapascan Nation, did live here. White settlers took the area for their own, though, making it understandable that the original inhabitants might want a little vengeance. Number 4. Bannock State Park, Beaverhead County, Montana The town of Bannock was originally a gold mining town, and actually still had residents until the 1970s. Once a town of 10,000, it's now the home of two campsites, and is managed by Bannock State Park. The catch is, the place is considered incredibly haunted. So just what happened here to spur on these hauntings? Some suspect it was the hanging of Bannock's sheriff, Henry Plummer, in 1864. Plummer was accused of once being the head of a murderous gang, but he was killed rather than tried, so we may never know if he was guilty or not, unless we ask his ghost. Number 3. Cameron Park, Waco, Texas This Waco, Texas green space is home to Jacob's Ladder, a steep stone staircase where many people, particularly women and especially after dark, 
claim to feel hands tugging at their clothes. Then there's Lover's Leap, where, legend has it, the Romeo and Juliet of two warring Native American tribes jumped to their deaths together, and can now apparently be spotted walking in the river below. How about the phantom engines heard where a young man died riding his motorcycle? Or the story of the witch that roams the forest, towing screams, banging noises, and the smell of rotting flesh behind her? Guess it's true, don't mess with Texas. Number two, China Camp State Park, San Rafael, California. Within the San Francisco Bay Area is China Camp State Park, which today is a beautiful, abandoned area outside of the city. Once home to Chinese immigrants, there have been debates over its preservation over the years. Visitors have said that when they're in the park, they feel as though they're being watched, and ghosts have been spotted on more than one occasion. At least one grisly event took place here as well, as the park was the site of the infamous barbecue murders, where a girl and her boyfriend killed her parents and tried to burn their bodies in a campfire. Number 1. Yosemite National Park, Sierra Nevada Region, California Of all the beautiful national parks in the United States, perhaps none is more beloved than California's Yosemite. It may be known for its beautiful granite cliffs and excellent hiking and climbing by outdoor enthusiasts, but it's also full of otherworldly happenings. One area is said to be cursed by Chief Tanaya of the Awanichi Nation, and the Ahwani Hotel is reportedly home to more than just living guests. Some have even said that they've spotted the ghost of John F. Kennedy in the hotel, as he had previously visited the facility in 1962, just a year before his assassination. <laughs> 